Before we carry on, I wanted to thank Skillshare for supporting this channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members. So I'm sure if you're a freelancer in the art slash creative industry, you will relate to that feeling of wanting to keep up with new software, learn new tools for a specific project, or just exploring skills which might open new doors, maybe even make your resume stronger. And this is why Skillshare comes so handy. Skillshare Skillshare has classes on a wide variety of topics from illustration, marketing, graphic design to freelance and entrepreneurship, web development, photography, creative writing, animation, and so many more. For example, you guys, I learned Procreate by myself years ago, and I was so thankful when I took Brooke's class into Procreate because I realized I was missing on so many cool stuff. Case in point, I had no idea about this reference picture feature you can use when you're drawing and you can even sample colors. It's so freaking useful. I also can't wait to take Imran's dynamic sketching with graphite class because I am obsessed with textures right now and I think this is going to add so much richness and dimension to my own illustrations. If you're interested in any of these classes, you can use my code in the description to get one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so, so much, Skillshare.
And then if you have a ground wire inside here, then you want to connect the ground to the green. Since I don't have the green or the ground, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, good morning everybody. It's a very humid morning here in Brooklyn, so I apologize for <laughs> the upper lip sweats. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I went to pick up the frames that we framed together and I thought I should end this vlog not only with a life update, stay tuned if you want to know how I'm doing, uh, but also how the frames turn out and look like right now. So so this one, I love that you can see my reflection. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so the first one is this one. This is by Frederike Mati, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Frederike has done this. I love that you can see my reflection. I'm gonna leave everybody's info down below, by the way, but like, um, Federica has done this design previously in which uh, there's like a big hand um, usually in like a blue shade and this is done by uh, screen printing and this smiley face I don't know if you can see it was done by hand and this was a special edition like uh, Federica changed the color palette for Ukraine's um, colors because a part of the revenue of this print was donated to Ukraine and I really really liked this one um, so much that I actually printed and I'm thinking I might put it over there you guys um, over my sofa let's go <laughs> let's go quickly and I can show you the other print okay maybe I can put it here oh no Please don't fall. Oh no, apologies for the reflection, but this is a poster I got at the Miro Museum in Barcelona. And I, I don't know why I was so captivated by this painting, especially the tooth, you guys. The tooth is staring into my soul. And I picked this like silvery frame because I don't know why I thought it was gonna be, it was gonna look super cool with the design itself. And I love how everybody sees something 
different you know i guess that's the beauty about art that is so subjective but yeah this is the second frame and this <laughs> and the third one this video is basically me moving every frame to my living room so you can see it so the story behind this poster is that Tove Jansen, I'm sure you guys know who she is, um, she's the author of The Moomins. These are The Moomins. And last year for my birthday, my friend Lou gave me this poster. Lou, I think you purchased this poster at the Tove Jansen, like the Moomin Museum. You can purchase it online actually. And this is my favorite cover of all time, you guys. I actually... Wait a second. Okay, so this poster is this cover, The Moomins and the Great Flood. Um, I actually haven't read this book yet. It's on my to-be-read list. Um, I would love to read it this year or as soon as I can. But I love this cover so much that it's sitting in front of my bed. Like this book, I have it on display like this. And Lou was so kind and thoughtful. She knew how much I loved this cover. And so she gave me the, a massive version of it as a poster. And of course I had to frame it. Uh, but I don't know, there's something like really uh, significant, I think is the word, when you decide to finally start framing prints and posters and pictures and photographs that are important for you. Uh, because framing is, this is something that no one tells you, but framing is so expensive, you guys. And there's something really official um, when you decide, you make a decision like this thing, this print, this 2D paper thing. I has so much significance in my life that I am willing to invest to put it behind a glass for prosperity and there's something really official about that like it, it, it adds a significant to, to a significance to the event and to the thing itself and so i am happy i finally printed all of this all of these babies because um hopefully they're gonna keep me company for all of my life if not most of my life so yeah wait let me see if i can Put you somewhere so we can have a chatty ending to this vlog. Wait a second. Wait, is hamburguesa pooping right now? Yes, he is. Hamburguesa is one of those cats that makes sure that everything's covered so much that sometimes he's like scratching the floor and I'm like, dude, that's not even that's not even litter, you know? You're scratching nothing, you're scratching air. But he wants to make sure. See, he's a he's a thorough boy. You're a thorough boy. You're I'm sorry, you guys, I'm because I only speak Spanish, so if you try to speak to him in English, he won't understand. I've tried doing a life update for a long time, but I've been avoiding talking about this subject because it's such a downer. Like, I, I've experienced really low mental health lately, and... And there's no polite way of bringing it up because I have, I have actually tried telling you what's going on with my life like a couple of times. But every time I'm like, I, this is not, oh God. The, the thing about like content creation and being online is that sometimes you are, it's always a game of guessing of guessing like where the person who is watching the video is and how receptive they're going to be with the information that you're going to give them. Um, and so the, you have to train yourself in the art of timing and being good at reading the room. And it's weird because there's no room until you kind of like make the room for yourself. It's a, it's a weird thing, but anyway, um, so I am just, God, now that <laughs> I realized that this video was running a little bit short, I'm like, I'm just going to do a life update and see, see how it goes. I need, I need some courage. Um, and by courage, I mean coffee. <laughs> so the reason why I was away for so long was that um, every year, I, as you guys know, I do a workshop in Spain. And this is like an amazing opportunity for me to travel and to meet some of you guys who take the workshop and it's just like the highlight of my year going to 
Sevilla, I always have the most amazing time. And it gives me a, an opportunity to like jump around Europe and then coming back. But right before my trip to Europe, I had a trip to Chile schedule. And this was like a last minute thing that my family and I had to plan and organize because for the vast majority of May, you guys, my dad was hospitalized. And uh, two weeks ago, this was in May, and two weeks ago, I even like talking about this is difficult. <laughs> two weeks ago, my dad was diagnosed with dementia. And the type of dementia that my dad has is very aggressive in the sense that it spreads really fast. And I don't know if you guys have been here on my YouTube channel for a long time. I'm going to assume you haven't because then I can explain the complicated relationship that I have with my dad. Um, my dad and I have, we are like strangers that happen to be related. We don't have a relationship and we haven't for the past decades. And so suddenly I am getting to know my dad again because due to this accident, we were kind of forced to mingle and to get to know each other again. And my dad has changed a lot because of this dementia. And he's not the person who he used to be. And I am, God, this is the scary thing of like sharing things online that I'm so afraid of being misconstrued or misunderstood and like taking things out of context. But the crazy thing about dementia, you guys, is that people sometimes change, like the horror personalities change sometimes to the worst. Like to, sometimes they behave in like, really upsetting in like challenging ways and sometimes they just become friendlier and the latter was something that happened to my dad so my dad used to be like super uptight and serious uh massive ego um really harsh and dry person with a lot of emotional baggage and trauma and now this is like a new side of himself is like almost like I have alternative reality dad and this version is way nicer is it like and even when I say this out loud I am afraid of telling you this you guys because I'm not saying that dementia is great and dementia is like the best thing that has ever happened to me because it changed my dad and made my dad nicer but in one way, dementia has made my dad softer and funnier and the stakes are not high uh, when it comes down to him and his ego or like he doesn't take himself too seriously now. And so we suddenly saw each other bonding and getting to know each other again for the first time in my life. And I... It's, it's been such a massive surprise, but because he has dementia, my dad is going to die soon. And this version that I'm seeing of himself um, is going to go away very soon because dementia is uh, a progressive sickness in the way that your brain is slowly dying. And so in a matter of years, my dad is going to slowly cripple. Is that the word? He's going to slowly wither. That could be a word. And so right now I am facing with the fact that I am gaining a relationship with my dad for the first time ever. I am laughing. I We are expressing words of affection, which is something that I've never experience with my dad he told me he loved me for the first time he told me he missed me for the first time and at the same time <laughs> i am losing him he is he's losing his autonomy he's like human capabilities i guess i don't know to, how to explain it but he's losing um uh the the things that make him 
um, I guess, like sane. And the fact that I'm gaining a relationship with him and getting to know him again and losing him at the same time is soul crushing and heartbreaking. And so trying to make sense of this ambivalence and this uh, contradiction has been earth shattering for me because it's, it's just horrible when you have to say goodbye to someone who is living. And that was a phrase that one of my patrons said to me and I felt so seen when they said it, like saying goodbye to someone who's still alive. And so I'm sorry for like, um, just like sharing all of this with you right now. It was such a nice vlog. I like, I love sharing vlogs with you, you guys. I, I really love when I get to share this like tiny moments of intimacy with you when I'm having dinner and like when I'm cleaning my home and it's such a, this is like my safe space. But at the same time, it's weird not sharing also this side that I'm going through in my life with you because it will be an incomplete vlog, um, so to speak. And so that is what I'm going through right now. And the fact that it's been really challenging to create art and work on my graphic novel and focus on my studio or like art projects it's been challenging for that same reason i don't know you guys maybe this is why reading has been such a massive comfort for me right now and like escape because i get to visit this like parallel parallel realities um and it's been such a massive comfort but um did i wait did i just trauma dump on you guys <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry maybe i need to buy you a drink uh, or a cup of coffee first, but this is honestly what I'm going through right now. And I, sh I thought you should know. Um, yeah, the mantra is a, is a rough one. Uh, no, there's no, like it now makes so much sense why it's called the relative's disease, because the mantra is not only hard for the patient, but also for everybody who is around the patient. And it's been... One of the hardest things that I have, I've been through. Um, and so thank you for listening to me, you guys. And thank you for your support around not only my channel and like watching my videos. And if you're a Patreon, thank you. Um, but the fact that you're here, you're commenting or like you're sending kind words, it means everything to me. So... Thank you for your ear. Thank you for lending me your ear. And I hope you're taking care of yourself and hug your parents. If you can, hug your parents for me. Um, yeah, I hope you're staying safe. You're rest. Please rest. And we're going to see each other next week. Okay, bye everybody.